Hi, everybody. Hugh Burrell here. Uh, you know, Mike Weir's 2003 Masters victory was dramatic for so many reasons. He was the first Canadian man to win a major, the first lefty to win the green jacket, and it was won in a playoff. I'm extremely pleased to be joined by the man who battled Mike in that playoff two decades ago, two-time PGA Tour winner Len Matisse. Len, how are you? Yeah, doing good, Hugh. Good to be with you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for spending a, a few minutes reliving uh, what happened twenty years. Twenty years ago? Has it really been twenty years? Can't believe it. I can't. Time flies. I know. I'm sure Mike would say the same thing that we try and stay young. I can't believe it's twenty years. Boy, the, the time has has just flown by for sure. So, I guess my first question is: it's a very general one. So, when you think of that day and everything that happened. And so much happened on that day. What, what's what's the memory that stands out the most to you? Overall, when I think back of that day, it was it was a tremendous you know golf round for me. I mean, I had the round of my life. I was going to say, for, so for, for for those who who may not remember, you started the final round even par, but right. you went off, young man. Like like, yeah. tell us about your round. You you got you got to to minus eight at one point. Yeah, six birdies, an eagle, and a bogey. So, you know, it, it in any round, you know, that would be a fabulous round. So to have it on Sunday was especially exciting. And um, to just to back up, I was three under on the, the round before on Saturday's round. Um, and three under was great. So I was three under and then seven under total. I was 10 under for my last 36. I was playing better than anybody, really, at yeah. that point. So, um, talk about being in the zone. Yeah, you you were so you're, you're so clean too. Uh, you, you gave one back on 18, but you have to be thinking that's not really going to hurt me that much. You, you never want to finish with a bogey no. anywhere, um, and that happens probably to be the top two toughest holes on on yeah. the course. I had yeah. trouble with that, that hole all week, but. You know, I made the bogey, and then it was just a wait and see what yeah. Mike was going to do, whether he was going to overtake me or tie or or, or fall one short. And yeah. that at that point, it was out of my hands. So, um, you so know, Mike, I, had my, I had my instructor there, yep. Jim McLean. So we just, you know, after I signed my card, we went to the range just to stay loose. Yep. Assuming there was going to be a playoff. So what are you thinking when you find out that, that – Mike makes this such a clutch six foot or seven foot putt on 18 to force a playoff with you. What's going through your mind right at that second? Well, five seconds before that, I was hoping he would miss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, just kidding. I I wasn't really that involved with uh, the, the make it or miss it or anything like that. I was such in a zone to be focused on a playoff you know so i was ready to go you yeah. know and, and you, you just assume in that position we're going to go playoff you know because you want to be a hundred percent involved and i was yeah and um you know even to the detail of you know jim and i were on the range and he's like okay number 10 let's hit a draw off the tee and you're probably going to have a six iron let's hit some six irons to that flag and you know try and be right at the pin and so we were detailed, focused, ready to go. Yeah. And uh, and at that time when Mike made that six or seven footer, I was on the putting green. Um, you could hear the crowd, you know, applaud big for that. And and we were told play off on 10 T in about two minutes. It was going to be very quick because daylight was, was yeah. moving. You it was know, a it very was, quick turnaround. Yeah, it was getting dark. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, just watching that 20 years ago and then re-watching the highlights over the past couple of days, my nerves are going. <laughs> Describe what it was like on 10 T as you're getting ready to tee off in the, in the, in the playoff. Well, the word, were there the nerves? Like, was there anything said? Did you guys talk to each other on the tee? Good luck. good luck. I mean, there's not much that, that needs to be said, you know, yeah. good luck, good playing. That's it. Um, yeah. And we were friendly. We weren't, we're not really at that point, real good friends, uh, but we were friendly. We saw a lot of each other, <clears throat> the five, six, seven years leading up to that point in, in a lot of the same tournaments. Um, I'd just say two nice guys yep. that, that really beat the odds that week. 
because you had the Tigers and the Phils and the Ernie L's and sure. you know all, all the let's just say the power players, the power hitters, and we beat them all. So yeah. um it was definitely elevated, you know, the word that's being yep. used now, you know. It, yeah, it for was sure. there was an elevated moment with total line down on ten. The 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 green was totally surrounded. Uh it was getting dark. And you, and you're the only two people out on the yep. course, and it means th this playoff meant everything. Yeah, yeah. So and that's that's how it was, and we both knew it. Nowhere to hide out there in a situation like that. So you both hit great tee shots, and things went a little sideways for you on your on your second shot. Uh, did you know then? Uh, no, I mean, you know, the it, when I look back at the playoff, that was a big bummer. You know yeah. how we how we did. Both of us did, and you know, not that's not what we want to do. We're not capable of. We're capable of doing a lot better, and it, it it was a bummer. It was a it was a bummer outcome the way we played it. You know, you'd like for somebody to make a par, yeah. and someone make a birdie or two pars, and you keep going. Yeah. So, you know, I I termed that day ninety eight percent big success because you know played playing under the highest pressure my game got better yeah and um not not to what when i hit my second shot left of the green it rolled down and then in perfect line of a pine tree yeah you, you the didn't green, get the greatest of bounces there that's for yeah. sure and, yeah. and that's a tough shot anyway uh going up the big slope um so you have to make sure that you get on the green otherwise it's going to come back at you and the green was a lot faster than what we both thought yeah and uh, you know, it turned out that I made a six and he made a five. So, yeah. but but you know um, what? It, it was it was one heck of a performance from you that that day. It was incredible. So so you guys are both playing now in the Tour Champions. How often do you guys talk about that day, or or do you talk about that day? There was a there was a little chat like in the next year. Um, you know when we would see each other. You know, um, but after about that it kind of fizzed out to where you know we we move on with you know our our tournaments that are ahead and what we're trying to accomplish and, and all that and i didn't really see much i got hurt um i had a knee injury uh less than a year later yeah and uh that took me away from the tour for a while so that was it uh still friendly and uh, i see him from time to time on the champions he's doing great um, I get in champions every so often, but you know, uh, he's such a nice guy yeah. and a good person and all that. We definitely root for each other. I think we played it together a couple rounds um, on PGA Tour, like at Hartford. I remember yep. playing, being paired with him, and a couple other times. So, you know, well, he's got a he's got a beer now, a weird beer. I'll I'll, I'll tell him to send <laughs> you a case. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's sexy. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Uh, Len Matisse, thank you so much. You're very gracious to do this. And, and I really appreciate you spending a few minutes just, just reliving that day that means so much to Canadians. And you know what? Not everybody can say that they lost in a playoff for the green jacket. So that's, that's a pretty rare thing. Yeah, thanks. It was definitely, you know, a, an incredible tournament, the way it turned out. Um, Thursday being a total rain out. And I do know that when I go to Canada, people love me. So I got that going for me. I mean, you know, everybody knows Len Matisse because of what happened at Augusta. And um, Canadian fans are the best in the in the world for golf. They, they love their hockey. They love their golf. And we don't have many tournaments up there. So when I go to Calgary, like in the Champions event, the Shaw, I mean, uh, it's well received and People are very friendly, so um, we all have a good time with it. Well, we'd be happy to make you an honorary Canadian, Len. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Thank a you. lot for this. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.